Irpin is just 20 kilometers away from Kiev. The town was chart topping among the Kiev inhabitants. Young families bought apartments here. The city grew by leaps and bounds, and it was distinguished by contemporary high rise buildings. However, now it is unrecognizable. The first battles began in Irpin on February 27th. The city was under constant shelling, both from the ground and from the air. We see that 50% of the city and its critical infrastructure is severely destroyed, and we have not sorted through these rubbles yet. And there are people here for sure. Many have left, of course, but many have stayed. The first evacuation of the civilians took place only on the 5th of March, but it proceeded under constant fire from the Russian invaders. Today we are evacuating people from the synergy. I am glad that everyone is alive and well. I don't worry, our troops are strong, we will win. Today, Irpin is under the control of the Ukrainian military. They run a cleanup operation. The territory is shelled from the surrounding occupied cities of Bucha, Gostomel and Warsaw. According to the mayor's estimates, there are still about 3,500 inhabitants in the city. Up to 50 Ukrainian soldiers and territorial defense fighters died during the battles in Irpin. The mayor spoke about the atrocities committed by the invaders in the city. Russians crushed the bodies of our dead Ukrainians, civilians, using tanks. They simply rolled them into the asphalt. We certainly will not forgive any Russian soldier for this. It was scary to look at, although I had already seen a lot. But... The city is destroyed not only from the outside. The so-called liberators did not shun anything. The so-called Russian world was everywhere in here. Doors broken, they rested here. Bastards. They probably wanted to steal the washing machine, but it was too heavy for them. Reported by Marina Stepanenko, Anna Holland, UATV News. And nothing can be done at the moment with it.